I've returned to the starboard locker to remove all this gumph um, from um, the exhaust outlet. So there it is, it looks absolutely horrible. Okay, Beverly, so what are we doing today, Bev? Well, I've got a Z zone because I have to go into the dark corners of the transom. Uh, we last serviced our Ever Smacker about three months ago, and it doesn't really need a service at this point. But as we commented in the last video, the motor was getting a bit iffy, and the motor has just failed. So we've got a new motor for it, and we're going to put that in. And I have to pull the unit out anyway, so we might as well give it a full service um, when we have it out for the motor. Um, the other thing we're going to do at this point is we're going to replace our old exhaust hose. The one that's here is the one that came with the boat. It might be 10 or 15 years old and it's basically had it. So we've got all the nice new stuff with the new exhaust hose and we're going to put that in. And since the previous video covered taking the Eberspacker out and doing all that stuff, we're not going to make you sit through all that again. However, we have discovered a wonderful new use for Coca-Cola and drain brushes. So hold on to your seats for a roller coaster ride. Okay, so hi is... Why did you say you've got a Z's on? Because it's dark in the transom and I can't see what I'm doing in there, so... Uh, no, but why is it called a Z's? Uh, if you've watched The Fifth Element, you will know. And if you haven't watched The Fifth Element, you need to watch The Fifth Element. Well, since our last service, Beverly has bought a new brush. And this is a... Drain cleaner. A drain cleaner. And it comes with an extendable debris and it's bendy and... That... Um, cleans the um, in around where the wire gauze is a lot better mm. than um, the other brush we were using. Okay, so a drain cleaner, but we've also using a good old fashioned pipe cleaner. I wouldn't call this a pipe cleaner. I can't see many serious smokers using this to get their um, what is it? Rough uh, shag out, or whatever yeah, it's called. Out of their pipes. But um, as I say, we've also purchased some pipe cleaners uh, because, of course, they can go round the bend. So does this little thing because it's extremely flexible. So, um, but also the other thing, uh, Beverly obviously prefers the um, the harder one. Well, it's easier to get it round the bend, believe it or not. Okay, fair enough. Well, this is things that people want to know. Um... The other thing that one of our um, followers suggested um, and we're going to be using to see if we can um, improve cleaning of the Eberspacker is good old fashioned Coca-Cola. Full strength. Full strength. That's what he recommended. So that's what we're going to try and use. Right. So we're going to be using this to clean out the combustion chamber. Which isn't too bad. I mean, it looks like blacker than the pits of hell, but that's the way it is. Um, but apparently, shake it all loose, put this in and let it stand, and the foaming, fizzing, phosphoric acid, whatever's in this stuff, will apparently loosen up a lot of this, and then you can rinse it all out, give it a good scrub. Apparently WD-40 is another thing to try, so we'll do the coke first, see what it's like, try a bit of WD-40, see what it's like, and we'll report back to you and let you know which of these wonderful household products will help you clean your Eberspacker. But and just remember, if it does that to the Eberspacker, think what it does to you. <laughs> okay, Dookie, so um, I've just cleaned the um, Eberspacker out with the brush method. Uh, and now I'm going to put the Coca-Cola down um, just up to this level here, because obviously Coke would come out otherwise, making a right mess. Um, and we're going to see um, what effects that has on the how clean we can get the Eberspacker. See how that goes. What's the verdict on the Coca-Cola? Well, um, I can actually say grey metal um, 
whereas before there was always like a little bit of soot deposits so i definitely think the coca-cola is working so the lethal concoction known as a, a beverage <laughs> you, you have for your dinner is actually very very good at cleaning soot so beverly i've just been in the transom to remove what Remove this, which is our Eberspacker exhaust. And as you can see, this actually looks like warm air ducting rather than exhaust because it is warm air ducting rather than exhaust. They've used that now. What we don't know is whether they've run the exhaust hosing, this stuff, all the way through or whether it stops at the other side of this clamp and just have a wee bit up here. We don't know how they've done it because we haven't taken it apart. But we have got new ducting to replace it and we have the correct insulation to cover the ducting, the, the rock wool fabric stuff. So the U-bend is brazed to the pipe, so now we've got to find a way to get it off. Um, that's our project for this evening. But I want to show you just how brittle this is. I know how brittle it is. No, it just, honest to goodness, I just touched it and the whole thing, thing just snapped off. Just snapped off. Well, basically, um, I was in the um, transom and um, I just touched it and the whole thing just crumbled. Um, our Eberspacker is from 2004, so this was probably put in at least sort of 2004, 2005. And um, the reason it uh, got a hole at, at, the, um, out at the transom is it's just so fragile. And um, so what we're talking, 2004? 15 years. 15 years. So, yeah, at 15 years, you know, it's time to replace your, our exhaust. Um, I give it a yank to try and break this free and the whole thing just snapped off. Ugh. So. As I say, it's just so fragile. I mean. That. <laughs> And I can tell you now, Beverly has not got any strength on her at all. No, I'm not. I'm not particularly strong. Okay. Well, I just want to show you um, this part of the exhaust before I um, throw it in the bin. But basically, um, it was leaking, like I said. And you can just see why it's leaking. Look at this crush here. And look at that. No wonder it was leaking, but the other thing is, we've been telling you that we need to service our Eberspacker every three months, but that crush could cause the air not to um, come out correctly, and that could be enough for why we need to service our Eberspacker every three months. I don't know, but we're, we're, we're definitely going to get rid of that. And never mind that, look at this. Oh my god! That's just, that's just ridiculous. I mean, so I've not got any strength on my little pinky, I can tell you. And, you know, I can remove it so easily. Well, this is all going in the bin because, quite frankly, it's just disintegrated. This is the um, fabric inside. Um, and um, where it's... Um, it Careful, there's, fi there's fibres coming off that. Don't, where don't. It, yeah, where it's cracked, it's just so weak and fragile. Like here, you can see... Yeah, try not, to make, try not to make dust, please. Okay, well, basically, it's just um, disintegrating. But this is where the um, fumes are coming from. It's just, um, as I say... Bavaria stuff is really good still at 15 years, but other stuff, um, it's, you know, with age. Right, well, I'll be honest, I can see a ton of dust floating around in the camera here in the light. Yeah. I'm going to open all the hatches and vent the boat and get this out of here. Yeah. Because just... I don't want to be breathing this shit during the night. That's true, but it's just horrendous. Okay. Just wanted to show you this stuff. Beverly's just bought it from uh, the local um, garage. And it is actually exhaust insulation. Um, so on top of the rock wall things, we're going to put this stuff as well. So I think that's really good. Well, the um, Eberspacker is starting up. Um, we've got it on, as you can see here. Um, we've added some of that car insulation for the exhaust around right, pumping diesel. various pipes. So it's starting to pump diesel. 
So I'm just going to watch in at the end. I'm not getting any fumes yet. I'm certainly not getting anything. This is looking good so far. A few seconds ago I did actually have fumes but of course I didn't have a camera running. As looking you can, good so far at this end. But as you can see we've put double insulation on a lot right, of it. I'm just going to go and check over the stern. <coughs> and where we haven't got a double insulation we've got um, additional um, stuff. So Holy shit. Well, I've pressure tested the system. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine on a pressure test. <laughs> I can hear it roaring now, though. We can see that I haven't, we haven't got the right solution. We haven't got it right yet. No. Uh, because you can see that there's some smoke there. Yeah, it might be alright for protecting other things, but it shouldn't go on that pipe. Right, okie dokie, so... Um, Let's get it off. So, that has got to... We've got to think of another solution. Well, Beverly bought um, this lagging, which is uh, supposed to be exhaust lagging, and she did say that it was for um, Ada exhaust. Um, and we've used it for two different things. One, for just a, additional on wires which are not touching and there it's fine but on the um, stuff that was actually on the exhaust you can see that it's um, it's singed it's actually uh, started smoking and it's gone from a couple of mils thick to one mil thick and I reckon if we'd have left it any longer it would have actually started into flames but we just had smoke coming from it and it's just gone all black and horrible. <laughs>